Hi everyone, this is a video demonstration on how to complete the College of Education Makalay application for the Master in Special Education program. Um, so what you see here is the login page where you can go to makalay.coe.hawaii.edu. Um, if you are currently a UH student and you're looking to apply the master's program, then you can go ahead and use the UH username and password. Um, otherwise, you're most likely going to want to actually create an account using your personal um, email account. So what you have to do is you have to create the account first, and once you fill that information out, it'll email you a link which will bring you back to this page, and then you'll be able to log in using your personal email and password. Um, so that just means, like, let's say you start your application, but you don't finish it. Um, you can come back, you can log in, and you can go straight in through here. But you won't be able to do that until you create your account first. So I'm going to go ahead and just log in. Um, you most likely won't see all these things. I do a lot of demos, but it'll either take you straight into starting an application, or if you've already opened one up, you just say start a new journey. So first, you want to choose the degree level that you're getting. So this is for a master's degree. And then you want to choose your actual program of study. So you're going to want to go all the way to the bottom. We have lots of programs. Um, but you'll see that there's three options within the MED SPED or special education. So either you're going to be pursuing the BCBA or the literacy specialist or the interdisciplinary track. So choose whichever one that you're going to be pursuing and say start journey. Okay, so now you're going to make sure that you're choosing the correct semester. So for the interdisciplinary and the BCBA, you'd be looking at doing a fall 2020. Um, if you're looking at doing the literacy specialist, then you're actually going to have a summer 2020 here. Um, and then your track is the special education or interdisciplinary, BCBA. It says special education here, but it's actually supposed to say interdisciplinary because that's the track for this program, but don't worry about that. And then um, it is an online program, so you'll see that that's the option because there shouldn't have more than one option because that's the only option we provide. So just make sure this is all correct and push continue. And then this is the bulk of what you're going to have to do for this application. So here's the checklist. And basically what's going to happen is you need to go into each one of these items and check it off in order to move um, forward. And what will happen is this blue next button will light up once everything is done. So for example, you also need to submit your UH system application. Um, so that's separate. So you can click on the link here if you haven't done it already. Um, otherwise, if you have, just go ahead and check the box and move on. Um, there is information related to paper applications, but I really don't recommend going the paper route. Um, I would advise that everyone just go ahead and do the online application. It gets processed faster and it's a little bit easier. So I'm going to say yes, continue, and then what you'll see here is there's a little green check mark. So that means it's all done and you can't actually go back into it. Um, so the next one is your bachelor's degree. If you're currently um, in your program and you're going to be graduating prior to the start of this program, then that's okay because this just says I graduated or will graduate. Um, from a four-year recognized institution, so you just say yes. GPA requirement is a 3.0 or higher, so you just say you understand that that's the requirement. Um, if yours is a little less than 3.0, then just understand that that could be grounds for um, being denied to our program. However, if everything else is really strong, then there is a chance that you can still be accepted. And then transcripts. So transcripts are really important. It's actually one of the number one reasons why people don't hear of their admissions decision. And it's usually because UH grad division is waiting on transcripts. And so you're going to want to make sure that official transcripts are sent directly from whatever institution you have attended to UH Manoa. Now, if, the, if all you've attended is within the UH system, UH system means UH Manoa, UH Hilo, UH West Oahu, as well as any of the Hawaii community colleges, then you don't actually have to worry about those transcripts. But if you've ever attended outside of the UH system, then you're going to need to send those transcripts, even if they've been transferred previously. So just keep that in mind that any school that you've gone out of outside of the UH system, regardless if it's transferred prior, if you've sent it to UH in the past, things like that, you're still going to need to send it. And so please send it to this address. 
And then if you wanted to, you can actually upload unofficial transcripts. Although for our program, it doesn't really matter because we're going to need the official ones to come through grad division anyway. So you can just skip that, um, especially if you don't have a copy off hand. Don't worry about getting that. But if you want to, you can go ahead and upload it here. Um, next are your video recorded responses. So this is what we are doing instead of face-to-face -face interviews, um, which we used to do in the past. What's nice about this new platform is that you can actually choose the day and the time that works best for you. And what we have done is we've pre-recorded the questions and then you're gonna get two minutes to just um, respond to it directly on either your phone or your computer and answer the questions that way. Um, do keep in mind that after the questions are done, in addition, there is a 30 minute writing essay. Um, this is because we removed the GRE as a requirement to our program. And in order to do a master's degree, we wanna make sure you have good writing skills. So please um, just keep in mind that after you finish your oral responses, you will have a 30 minute written essay with a prompt. Um, so to access all of that, you're just gonna click on the video recording page, which will open it up into another tab. Um, and you can do that. Just keep in mind, um, you know, you can stop in between questions. You just can't stop in the middle of a question or once you've seen a question. But it should be fairly quick to do in terms of the responses, should take about, 15, 20 minutes, and then you just do the 30 minute essay and everything should be done. Um, here's also an additional set of interview directions if you need it. And then once that's done, you click save. Now let's say you, you, you wanna save it for later. Um, you're gonna work on everything else and you wanna do that last, and that's fine. You can just say save without checking the box and you'll see that there's no check here. So you can come back to it. Then a statement of objectives, we do prefer that you submit it in a Word doc or a PDF and then to use this naming convention. And what's really nice is you can actually upload it directly here. So you would just click on this and then attach it and then um, it'll be added to your application file. And then you would just click that and push save. Same thing for your resume or your curriculum vita. Um, just upload it directly here. So just make sure it's up to date. Now let's say you um, upload it and then maybe a couple weeks later you realize, oh, I forgot to add something. I wanna update my resume again. Um, you can still upload it. Uh, and what we will do on our end is we're gonna just take whatever's the most recent. So you won't be able to delete files that have already been uploaded, but if you wanted to add a, a newer version, then you can just go ahead and add it and um, and then we'll just take whatever's the most recent. Push save. And then lastly, you do need three letters of recommendation. Um, what you need to do for the application is you're gonna put their name, their email, their phone number, and then kind of how you know them. And it this system will actually automatically send them an email that shares, oh, this person is applying to this program, they've listed you as a reference, and they're gonna give them an upload link so that they can actually upload your letter of rec directly for you, which is really nice. Um, you here are gonna say either you would not like to waive the, the right to view them. So if you keep it at that, then you'll be able to see the letters that they write for you. Otherwise you can rate, waive the right. If they want to keep everything confidential and you didn't waive your right, then they could actually fax it in or mail it in. But let's say um, someone's already written you a letter of recommendation and you already have it, then you don't want them to receive that email to send it again. So you could just uncheck the box next to their name. And what that'll do is make sure that they don't actually get sent that email. So let's say two people, your first and your last reference already gave it to you so you could uncheck it and then the email will only be sent to the second one. So this is flexible depending on whether or not you already have that letter. Okay, and then, and what's nice is you can check this box without actually having all three letters of rec. So you're just checking it off saying that you listed them. You can follow up with them later. Don't let your application sit here and wait for all three letters to come in. Just go ahead and move forward. Okay, um, so what you would need to do is you would need to actually have everything checked off in order to move forward. And then this button lights up, you say next. And make sure you continue going so that it's it, it's submitted. Right now, it's not technically submitted. Review your program, click the box, and push submit. 
And that's it. And then you can check on the status afterwards. If you have any questions, you can email me at spedinfo at hawaii.edu.